2017 Solo Swims Award Ceremony Plaque Unveiling. Um, I'm Marilyn Krasakwa, President of Solo Swims. We are standing here overlooking the beach. All of us who have swum to Toronto since 1975 have started from this beach. Prior to that, the swimmers started in Youngstown. Oh, did they? Across the river. This is the last solid land that swimmers feel on their feet for 15 or more hours. The town of Niagara on the Lake has generously donated the land in this beautiful spot for solo swims to install this rock monument to all the swimmers that have swum Lake Ontario between Niagara on the Lake and Toronto. The first plaque was installed in 1994, and uh, those of us who were here for that remember that people had swum the lake in the 1950s and the 1970s were here for that, including Marilyn Bell Delasio, who we're excited to have with us here today. And Kim Lumsden. Eventually we ran out of space for all the new names and in 2011 we installed this current plaque. A bit of the history about the swim from Niagara on the Lake to Toronto, Marilyn Bell Delasio was the first person to swim this 51 kilometer body of water. Prior to 1954, no one thought it could be done. The Canadian National Exhibition hired famous American marathon swimmer Florence Chadwick to attempt the crossing. Marilyn, who was a 16 year old schoolgirl, and her coach were slighted by the CNE's failure to recruit Canadian talent and secretly planned for Marilyn to leave Youngstown at the same time as Florence. In fact, I just heard a story about how she sat in a car on that pier for hours, <laughs> hiding under a towel from the reporters. I didn't know she found it. So they swam through the night, but within about eight hours, Florence quit due to stomach pain, pain and vomiting, and Marilyn swam on. Yeah. All day long, With a whole lot of help. <laughs> <laughs> All day long, it seemed like the whole city of Toronto was cheering for Marilyn. She fought off lamprey eels and struggled with exhaustion. Businesses in Toronto offered her all kinds of gifts to keep going. She says she did it for Canada Yay. to prove that a Canadian could swim further than an American. Yeah. <laughs> The newspapers fought for coverage of the event when she finished after 51 kilometers at the Boulevard Club in Toronto. After 20 hours and 55 minutes, she was semi-conscious, according to the legend. <laughs> she has become a Canadian legend. She went on to become the youngest to swim the English Channel and the first Canadian to swim the icy strait of Juan de Fuca. But much more than that, she has stayed involved in Canadian marathon swimming and has been a mentor to many of us. She phones every Lake Ontario swimmer to wish them luck before their swim. She has inspired us to follow in her footsteps and to have goals and to achieve them. Hers is the first name on this plaque and we now call this swim the traditional Maryland Bell route. <laughs> when we unveil this plaque, you will see the records that have been set by the 54 people that have followed her. Uh, the fastest male, John Kinsella, in 1978, 13 hours, 49 minutes. Fastest female, Sydney Nicholas, in 1974, 15 hours and 10 minutes. Oldest male, Bill Sadlow, at 57, in 1957, in 2501. The oldest female was, until August the 30th this year, <laughs> Colleen Shields at 62, and Pat gallant Sheree at 66. <laughs> the youngest male, Greg Taylor, at 19 in 2003, in 19 hours and 23 minutes. Youngest female, Trinity Arsenault at 14 in 2014, in 23, 19. All Butterfly, Vicki Keith, in 1989, in 31 hours. First double crossing, 98 kilometers, Vicki Keith, in 1987, 56 hours, 10 minutes. 
the um, Vicki Keith has swum Lake Ontario five times. Two people have swum it three times. Kim Middleton and Colleen Shields, who just snuck up behind us. <laughs> uh, five people have swum it twice. Jim Woods, me, John Scott. Where's John hiding? Hey, John. <laughs> uh, and Jim Wilson. Last summer, 66-year-old Pat Galanchere, a retired nurse and grandmother from Maine, stepped into the water and swam to Toronto, to Maryland Bell Park. She completed this feat on August 30th in 24 hours and 28 minutes, a distance of 51 kilometers. Pat becomes the oldest person to swim Lake Ontario. She also joins the 24-hour club. Pat has swum six of the legendary Ocean Seven swims around the world. She also wow. swam the English Channel a second time this year, becoming the oldest woman. In her spare time, she organizes swims to support the Heart and Stroke Foundation. Our other Lake Ontario swim swimmer is Elizabeth Fry. Liz? from Connecticut. <laughs> she shattered the American amateur speed record on September 11th in, on the same course that Pat swam in 15 hours and 46 minutes. <laughs> she also has the fastest time for an American woman. And September 11th is also the latest date of the summer ever recorded for a successful swim. Liz has swum five of the Ocean Seven swims, including a double crossing in the English Channel. <laughs> Liz organizes the popular swim across the Long Island Sound to support St. Vincent's Medical Center programs that support families coping with cancer. Nice. Last page. <laughs> And Marilyn Bell where did she write? Yeah. In the back, was cheering for both of these swimmers by text and Facebook. So in a moment we will un in a moment we will unveil the plaque with the two new plates. I just want to mention that when we retreat to our warm restaurant, we will also be honoring the volunteer contributions made by two of our supporters. Niagara on the Lake Sailing Club, represented today by Jamie and Lorraine Day. Are you here? Okay, and the Grimsby Auxiliary Marine Rescue Unit, well, commonly known as GAMRU, <laughs> represented today by Bob Gordon. And now, without further ado, maybe I should ask Marilyn to unveil with me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, this is so great. <laughs> Pictures. I think the first yeah. picture we want to do is everybody who has swum Lake Ontario. I guess we count them. Including Madhu. <laughs> so, where are you on the rock? Lee, you doing, man? Oh, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 